my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the battle of the subscriptions. So I've got three different levels of subscriptions we're going to be talking about. I've collected a couple months on one subscription and then I have just one month of a few others. So if you'd like to see the battle of the makeup subscriptions, stay tuned. For our first set, or our level one boxes, they're about $10 a piece, and I say boxes because um, one comes in a box, the other one comes in a makeup bag. With that being said, in no particular order, I am going to start out with the Ipsy bag. I believe this one was July's. So it comes in a cute little makeup bag, but if you subscribe after so long, you really don't want to see another makeup bag. I don't know what the women do with these after one or two months. I can't give these away fast enough. So while it is a cute promotional idea to get a makeup bag, to get another one every month is, I don't know what, what anyone does with this. But with that said, let's look at the products in July. So the products in July and in your $10 subscription, you get pretty much a lot of minis. So if you like small travel type items, this subscription is for you. However, they are, they do throw in some eyeliner, some eyebrow pencils, some lip pencils on occasion. So let's take a look at one of those. In July's box they have a perfect brow dual pencil and that sounded like I said dual it's duo and this one is in a brown which is exciting for me and there is the swatch here on the brown I am looking forward to trying this I am a huge chocolate brown type person for the eyebrows and this comes with a nice spoolie. The next regular size product was the Infinity Waterproof Eyeliner and this is in a black and it goes on really creamy. The only thing I worry about that and I look forward to trying that is is it going to smudge or smear because it went on really creamy and as you can see it moves. So I'm not sure how I might use that in my beauty routine because for me I like eye pencils, eyeshadows, etc. that stay. So I may have to think outside the box on how to use one that moves. The next piece is the Pure Correcting Primer. Doesn't really have a smell to it and it goes on very clear even though when you first push it out it looks like it's going to be a skin tone so i am looking forward to using and trying the pure primer hopefully next month i'll have a better better feedback for you on that they did include a makeup forever mascara this is called the excessive lash I am looking forward to trying some Makeup Forever. I have not used that yet, so um, I will give you some feedback next month about this. Then next, we have the Organic Surge Daily Reviving Eye Gel. You are supposed to put this, massage this around your eye. not much of a smell and it is a gel it feels very hydrating um very water-based not so creamy so we'll see what that turns out like so that was july subscription now august we have another makeup bag and inside, I got a little excited because when your products can stick out of your makeup bag, you feel like you've just won the lottery. So let's see what August Ipsy bag looks like. So in the August Ipsy bag, I have a Trust 
Fund Beauty, and this lippy is called K Bye. This is a nice little mauve nude. I am looking forward to trying K Bye. We have a couple little masks in here. One is the Secret Garden Olive Oil Mask, and the other is a Camellia, Camellia, Camellia Potato Potato Mask. I do use masks on a regular basis, so this is going to, again, be exciting for me. So while Ipsy's July bag was not exciting for me, August looks a lot more promising. They do have the makeup cleansing wipes. These are in cucumber and aloe. I do enjoy keeping a set of these by my nightstand. So if it's a late night or I'm exhausted and I just want to fall in bed, this is where these little wipes come in handy. Because again, I keep them by my bedside so I can just climb in bed. I'll grab one of these, wipe off my makeup. I usually keep a moisturizer by the side of my bed for the same reason. I can just lay there, put some moisturizer on, and then that way I never sleep in my makeup. So this little guy is going to be very handy for me. Looking forward to this little guy, and it is a Gimme Brow by Benefit. So it's got a teeny tiny little spoolie. Oh my gosh, how adorable. It goes on feeling a little wet but this could actually be a nice travel product. Um, it looked like it did move a little bit of my previous eye, um, eyebrow pencil or cream around. Can't speak today. So this might be something that you need to be careful with when applying, but that little spoolie is absolutely adorable. Finally, we have the Winky Lux and my sister loves doing winkies, so this would actually fit her perfectly just for the name alone. And the Winky Lux is a powder. This one is called Light. It is very creamy to the touch and looks like it could be a good blending color or a um, eyebrow, eyebrow bone color. So I will say July's Ipsy bag was less than exciting for me, but they look like they made up for it in August. So now let's talk about the next $10 subscription. And this, I, I really can't, I forget which month is which month, and that is Birchbox. So Birchbox had a couple subscriptions, and let me see if I can't figure out real quick. So the next subscription box for $10 is Birchbox. And I've got two of them, but I can't tell you which month is which, so I'm just gonna do a quick review on both of them. So Birchbox comes, I think, a little bit better. I like the fact that I won't have to um, have a yet another makeup bag. And the products in here look fun. It also mixes in a bit of hair products. So in the hair products, we have the Beach Wave Shine Spray. We have a 24-hour hydrating gel, an en enzyme peel mask. We have a protect and detangle leave-in conditioner. And then we have a highlighter and bronzer duo. So right off the start, when I opened this um, package, I was instantly drew in by the type of minis that they give you. So the Beauty Protector full size goes for $23.50. The Daydream Palette that provides the perfect summer glow normally goes for $25. The Energizing Hydrating Gel full size is $25. The Beach Wave Shine Spray is $22 to $39. It does hydrate dry hair and boost shine. Very excited about that. And then the Organic Pharmacy, the Enzyme Peel with Vitamin C and Papaya, full size goes for $79. 
um, you leave this on for 10 minutes and remove with a damp cloth. So, I am thrilled about another face mask type item. So let's see what it smells like. It actually has a kind of candy smell to it, so that's gonna be hard not to lick my face. Okay, I can't lick my face, but you get the hint. So it goes on kind of nice and smooth. That's gonna be an interesting little bit to try. The hydrating gel, anytime I hear hydrating, I think of a high water dense product. It is watery, but it also has a creamy feel to it. So that's gonna, that's gonna be really interesting to try. Oh, wow. Okay, so this protect and detangle the beauty protector smells awesome. It has almost a vanilla type smell to it and it's mixed with something that I'm not quite picking up on, maybe a lavender. And this is going to make your hair smell fabulous. The Beach Wave and Shine Spray. If I can figure out how to use it. That's actually got a really nice um, smell to it also. Not heavy, it's actually quite light. So that is going to be fun to try and I look forward to giving you a review on that also. So the next Birch Box I have received is includes a Balance Me Radiance face mask, full size, goes for $30, $34. We have Clean, the Eau de Parfume, which normally goes for $40 to $72. Uh, Mr. Jart, Dr. Jart, not Mr., the doc is in the house. Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer, full size, $36. We have an ultra gloss lip pencil called Punchline. Full size normally goes for $12. And then the Smashbox Cosmetics X rated mascara, full size, that goes for $22. So let's see what these products smell like and or swatch like. So the Water Drops Hydrating Moisturizer, instantly burst of hydration for dry skin, brightens dulls, lackluster skin is long lasting moisturizer. It goes on very thin. I would say lightweight. This might be a good one for the morning so that you can hydrate your skin before priming and doing your makeup and not having that heavy feel. This almost reminds me of something I would use in spring or summer versus fall or winter because it does feel very light. The Radiance Face Mask. Um, it's a triple action face mask with clay. It gently polishes with walnut shells and fruit acids. It's designed to cleanse, exfoliate, and brighten the skin. You smooth it over the face, leave up to for five minutes, and remove with a damp cloth. I love my face masks. I think face masks are just their need for women to do at least once a week. Okay, this, I can feel the exfoliating pieces in there. Um, it's not like a sea salt, so I guess it truly is walnut based. To be honest, I don't like the smell. Um, I'm not sure what it has in it, but it almost has a medicinal, almost a, like your product has um, maybe expired. So the smell on this one, I would probably be excited to get that off and not wait the actual five minutes. So not sure about that one. I will try it because it might have great results despite the smell. So here is a copy of the LOC, the lock and punch line. And this is an ultra gloss lip pencil. 
and it is really light so while it looks like it's darker it look you have to kind of swatch it back and forth and it still is kind of a lighter color than what the actual pencil is so don't let looks deceive you this looks very bright but will go on it looks like lighter so the, these are why having a subscription at $10 a month is good. It does give you the opportunity to purchase a bunch of little products for $10 and you already heard how much each of these products are at full price. So it does give you a toe into the beauty world trying multiple different products at a fraction of the price and this is why these subscriptions are really good. Although some months are, you know, as you heard earlier, were a miss for me, and then some months are a hit. But at $10, you're going to spend or waste $10 weekly on fast food. So give up one day of fast food and enjoy a beauty box and be pleasantly surprised with some of the goodies that come with it. So here is the Match Smashbox X-Rated mascara um, I have not tried that as of yet it does feel like it goes on dry not a wet formula so this looks like this could be some fun and last but not least is a called clean air perfume and I am very picky with my perfumes um, in fact, I typically only wear one, which I just can't get away from the one. So let's see how this is. This one actually has a really nice clean smell. Um, if you're into earthy kind of perfumes, this one smells like cut grass maybe, um, a walk in the woods very very natural and very earthy um so i think i will enjoy trying this because it is a cleaner smell so um this could be fun and that could be why it's called clean air <laughs> it's got a nice clean smell so that is the end of the review of both ten dollar subscriptions I would say that between Ipsy and Birchbox, if I had to pick between the two, um, I think I like Birchbox better. Mostly because it, it just has a variety of products, both face, hair, and makeup. And facial care is important. What you put underneath or how you start your foundation put your makeup on next is important so um, skincare is huge and so I like the fact that they put in some good skincare products I like how they mix it up a little perfume um, a little hair care products and some makeup products ipsy it's not that I don't like you or I'm just not in love with you so my final decision between which $10 subscription is better Birchbox or Ipsy, I believe Birchbox is the better value for your dollar. So if you've got to just pick one beauty subscription for $10, I'd recommend Birchbox. I want to thank you so much for watching my battle of the $10 subscriptions. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email is below. I thank you for taking the time to watch one of my tutorials. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing or send me, refer me to a friend or family member. And always remember to make it a beautiful day.